my dear friends, I want to thank you again for your intercession and thank you again for your love. And I give praise to the Almighty El Shaddai that we are still in the land of the living. Some of our loved ones are no longer with us. We have gone through some troubling waters, but Father has brought us through. So be encouraged. I just want to read a uh, scripture to uh, praise our Heavenly Father to brock him and to say a, a prayer that Father will give us strength. And for those of us that don't do not yet know the Messiah, I pray that this would be a day that you would ask him into your heart whether you are vaccinated or not vaccinated, if you are not saved, ask that you uh, reach out and touch someone today with a phone call, with an email, to let them know that you care about them. And I would pray every time you hear the, the word pandemic or virus or whatever, say a, send up a prayer to the Most High. Hallelujah. Well, I'm going to read from Psalm 84 and then I'll, I'll say a, a, I try to say a quick prayer. Psalm 84 out of the scripture book. How lovely are your dwelling places, O Yahuwah of hosts. And we live to give honor unto the Most High, the King of kings, the King of the universe, the creator of heaven and earth and the sea, and the one created you and me. And the one who created the people throughout the world, the nations of people, the one that called Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So continuing, uh, I'll begin at the first verse again. How lovely are your dwelling places, O Yahuwah of hosts. My being has longed and even fainted for the courts of Yahuwah. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living El. Even a sparrow has found a home. And to swallow a nest for yourself, where she has put her young ones, your altars, O Yahuwah of hosts, my sovereign and my Elohim. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. I'm going to repeat that again. We can say, Baca are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you, Salah. Baca is the man whose strength is in you. Your highways are in their heart. Passing through the valley of weeping, they make it a fountain. The teacher also covers it with blessings. They go from strength to strength, appearing before Elohim in Zion. O Yahuwah Elohim of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O Elohim of Yaakov, Selah. O Elohim, see our shield and look upon the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand days. I have chosen rather to be a doorkeeper in the house of my Elohim than to dwell in the tents of the wrong. For Yahuwah Elohim is a sun and a shield. Yahuwah gives favor and esteem. He withholds no good matter from those who walk blamelessly. O Yahuwah of hosts. Baraka is the man who trusts in you. Blessed is the man who trusts in you. I'm a new mecca new. Our Father, our King, we thank you. We thank you for our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed will be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I want to thank you, Father, that your word in us has brought heaven down to earth. So, Father, we ask you to forgive us of our sins this morning. And Father, we're asking that you touch your people this morning. Those that are sick, that you would send forth your healing word. Those that marriages are, are breaking up, we ask that you send forth the word and restore marriages. We ask that you heal the little children that are also um, on ventilators and various things. I ask that you send your word to the elderly as well, Father. Protect them, heal them, watch over them. Send your word to every sick person. Hallelujah, we pray for healing and restoration. Send your word to everyone in the jail that's incarcerated. Send everything that they stand in need. And those that are in charge of the jail, send forth to them 
what they need to understand in their position to look out for those, hallelujah, that are in need of their help and assistance. I pray that you touch the caretakers this morning and grant them strength. I pray, Father, that those that have had hip replacements or have trouble with their eyes or pain in their body is, is the point having pain in their bodies. We ask that you send forth your word and remove the pain and heal. I want to thank you this morning, Father, that I can, I am still in the land of the living. And those that hear this video are still in the land of the living. And we are like trees that's planted by the water. We shall not be moved. We give you praise this morning. I ask that you send your word also into every home. Send your word into every the, the heart and mind and soul of the fathers and mothers that are their, boy, their, their hearts are made ready for your word to be implanted by your spirit and they are yielding it to confess and ask for forgiveness and believe that Messiah died for them. I pray, Father, for fa families to be reunited. I pray for misunderstandings to come into understanding and wise counsel. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you for Psalm 139 that say all your children are wonderfully and fearfully made. We give you praise this morning. Hallelujah. We pray for any medical side effects. We ask that if there are side effects that are harming the body, we ask you to uh, set up a defense so the side, the side effects of medicine will not harm the bodies of your believers. I pray for us in your word and cleanse our toxins from our bodies today. I pray your word send your word and and heal the high blood pressure low blood pressure i pray that you send your word and heal those with knee troubles hallelujah and feet troubles and hand troubles and neck troubles and gum troubles and heart troubles i pray father for healing of cancers and lumps and bumps and humps and for your great name's sake I pray for favor on jobs, favor with paperwork, favor with the attorneys, favor with the doctors, favor with the mortgages, favor with renting, favor with the car notes, favor with telephone, favor with with uh, friends, uh, Father. And I pray that you again rest restore marriages, bring your children out of jail. And we pray, Father, that you send forth your word so that we can understand that we are, some of us are perishing for lack of knowledge. We, will, we reject knowledge. We set up a, a shield against knowledge. I pray for those that are embracing knowledge that you would give them even more knowledge and give them understanding of the mysteries that the Holy Spirit desires to reveal. I thank you right now. For everything that you're doing, Father. I ask that you touch the people to drink water so that they can be hydrated. I thank you, Father, for taking away all kinds of illness, sickness, and things that's going on. I pray give people favor and grant the finances that they need. Touch the people that have the finances to be able to help those that are without. We pray for the homeless people. Uh, to be fed and clothed and helped. And we pray for the fatherless, the motherless, the widows, and the orphans, and all the different ones. We ask your blessings. I want to thank you this morning, Father. I pray that this prayer went through and that your people know that there's a lot of people praying. We are praying for you. We love you. Of course, we don't do everything or like in the body. But we are trying. We are in the body of believers. Messiah said we are one. Hallelujah in him if we are believers. So I thank, I thank um, our Heavenly Father that we are like a tree planted by the waters. I shall not, I shall not be moved. I shall not, I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the waters. So be strong everyone and of a good courage. 
Do not give up. We love each other. Let Father help us with all of our decisions. And for those that need attorneys, we pray that Father will send the attorneys that is needed and, and supply all of our needs as he promised. May your day be filled with understanding of his blessings. He blessed us to be able to taste food. Some people can't taste food. So we pray for those as well. May Yahuwah bless you going out, coming in. Yahuwah's countenance shine upon you and grant you peace and wisdom and counsel and strength and knowledge and along with understanding and the fear of him to keep you on the straight and narrow path. May your day, may you prosper in your day's work and reach out to somebody today. Hallelujah. Let them hear what Father has done for you. Have a wonderful day. And thank you all, all of you. Hallelujah. That, that love us and look out for us. And we want to thank you again for, for helping, for helping those that are reaching out to the homeless. We ask that you continue to seek those people out that Father has put a calling on their lives to do that. And you have a calling on your life as well. Hallelujah. To be able to take food to somebody's house. So I pray that Father prosper you. And some of you are, are desiring to drive people places. I pray that Father prosper you in that. And so I touch and agree with your prayer that according to Father's will, we call it from the spiritual realm into the physical. Oh my goodness. Good morning. Good morning, beloved, um, um, beloved Pittman. Praise Father for you. I thank Father that you are in our lives and I thank Father for you being one of the prayer warriors and reaching out to people and encouraging and inspiring people. And I thank you for all the times that you continue to inspire me. I do not take it lightly. So we will continue to pray for each other. Hallelujah. Have a wonderful day. Shalom, shalom upon you. And may Father grant your household everything you stand in need of. And I pray that for all that are on here. We'll keep reaching out to the nations. We'll keep reaching out. Hallelujah to the people of every nation. Hallelujah. Every race, no matter what it is, we are reaching out. Because we have love for one another. Hallelujah. Y'all have a wonderful day. Shalom, shalom.